This is Gary Butterfield. This is Cole Ross. And this is Monster in My Podcast. And this is The Giant Slug. There's a monster in my podcast. Boy, is this a giant slug. <laughs> it's, yeah, it's just, it's, it's pretty much just a giant slug. Yeah. It's pretty much just your basic giant slug. Yeah. Although if you want to, if you have an infestation of these guys and you need to get rid of them, just tear the top off of a brewery. They will oh, crawl in no. and then get stuck. I, I always feel like those kind of, those kind of things for getting rid of a pest. Like I would like ways of getting rid of pests that don't just leave yourself a like literal horror show to pick up. <laughs> like the, the top of like beer can that's just like full of like <laughs> drunk slug corpses. Like I don't want to mess with that. You know, yeah. I, I look at it and I think, yeah, that's that, that, that looks like how I'll go. <laughs> yeah. Just, uh, uh, drowning, like drowning in beer would be a nightmare. Oh, it's certainly like, I love yeah. beer, but like, I'm just thinking about like just getting drunker and drunker. Like anytime I have a drink when I feel like I shouldn't anyway, mm. and then just like, forcing me to do so yeah <laughs> that's really rough um yeah and you can't uh you can use salt on this if you have some kind of conjuring spell i, I love whatever i love the idea of summoning a small army or a squadron of earth elementals uh, yeah. made entirely of salt like the elemental plane of salt the subplane or whatever <laughs> um so that, that was that where all the good. angry people go yeah, it's uh, it's it's where Twitch chat is. Kappa. Um, yeah, it is. Uh, this is something about these six entries we're going to talk about during this session. Um, something happened to the guy who writes the monsters manual. I feel like, or I was just in a weird mood reading them. Uh huh. But they feel like they have a different tone than others. <laughs> it feels very disdainful. It's disdainful. Or uh, the next entry that we're going to talk about sounds like a literal like fourth grader book report. <laughs> um, this is real silly. But there's all these little weird details like. Here we're talking about this giant slug, which again, if you're like, why aren't you guys talking about the giant slug? Like, it's just a giant slug. It's a giant, guys, guys, it's, it's a giant slug who spits acid and can corrode his way through places. You know what those are. <laughs> um, there's a part here in the thing where it says, for example, a party of adventurers might seek cover in a large stone building while taunting the slowly approaching <laughs> slug behind them. Is that the case? <laughs> yeah. Uh, neener, neener, neener. Huge, neener. Huge creature. What do you? How do you taunt a slug? Like it's already a slug. <laughs> it's already the lowest thing. Yeah, it, it's already the thing that you uh, you know you call people that when you don't like them. Mm -hmm. You know the the Willy Wonka's dumb slave was called Slugworth. Like <laughs> it's not a it's dumb slave. <laughs> you know, it's a dumb slave who dressed like a spy versus spy. Yeah, yeah. With his with his perfectly round Indiana Jones villain glasses. Yeah, Indiana Jones and or John Lennon. Oh yeah. Is it, so some kind of villain though. <laughs> Yeah, make, those, those things make your face look real fucking weird yeah. and not like perfectly round glasses you have to have the the the, the right bone structure yeah yeah and uh or bones <laughs> fucking slug <laughs> you piece See? Of yeah, shit. it works you like, piece you, of shit yeah um, they, they do look like pieces of, like i the first time uh, there's slugs in oregon there weren't slugs in illinois okay uh, at least in where i was at but we have slugs here sometimes so i see slugs from time to time and the first time one of them got into the house it just looked like i was like oh the cat shit on the floor mm -hmm. and then like oh it's moving that's real weird. Is my cat like <laughs> sick in a new way that science hasn't discovered? Right. You know, it's giving birth to animate turds. Should I call science? Yeah. <laughs> hey, science? Do I need to call Professor Connors down at the university and, and have him take a sam sample? Or, uh, and then I went to pick it up. I'm like, oh, it's a slug. Yeah. Uh, here's its gross, like, slime trail uh, that, that I followed to the door. Like, yeah. I did some, like, detective work. Uh, <laughs> you, you, you lit up detective vision yeah the trails I load. Uh, and and made it out but it's just like i'm just gonna throw it like treat this like i would if my cat's turd came to life mm -hmm. by which i mean flush this miracle down the toilet <laughs> you know <laughs> like, um so effectively turds <laughs> yeah it's always disturbing to see like a whole bunch of slugs uh unevenly distributed across the surface be that oh, like yeah. the side of a shed or something like that like that'll happen Ugh. Ugh. yeah no i i, I don't no, understand no, I a slug infestation but they are a problem in gardens around here and stuff mm. um i love the final line of this because you're talking about like hey you know what are they good for what, what can you do with them this final line for now giant slugs remain a very real danger in jungles forests and dungeons everywhere when I when I first read it, I thought it said jungles, forests, and dungeons, and everywhere. <laughs> it's like, okay, monsters manual writer, like, somebody needs to to give you a give you a warm milk and put you to bed. Hey, buddy, take a break. 
Yeah. Real quick. <laughs> You're uh, coming across kind of cranky. Yeah, just just uh, just going going crazy. But as, as is, um, I don't have a whole lot of uh, usefulness for slugs. I think that they're like. I think you can make an argument that they're like leeches for girls. <laughs> <laughs> you know, for kids. Yeah, for kids. Like like in a Saturday Night Live chest for girls kind of way. Like you know, not that girls can't have cool like blood sucking leeches, but just right. like in a world, it's like how dolphins shouldn't exist in a world with sharks. Oh right, like, yeah. You know, slugs shouldn't exist in a world with leeches. Like, it's just a less cool leech. Yeah. Ponies shouldn't exist in a world with motorcycles. No. No. You know, a helicopter shouldn't exist in a world with, with VTOL jets. <laughs> I mean, we just need one of everything. Cool. Yeah. Like, we just need to get down to the coolness just singularity. Simplify, man. Yeah. Everything, there's just like, there's one car. It's a cool 79 Testarossa. <laughs> <laughs> Badass. <laughs> Every, everyone drives it. I get it on uh, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, and every, every 700 years <laughs> yeah, Sunday. Like, yep. <sighs> Brought to you by our backers at Patreon.com/slash DuckFeedTV.